Hello, my name is Jeremy Harding and I'd like you to join me in the brand new tutorial Machine 2.0 Explained. Machine 2.0 by Native Instruments is a significant upgrade to their acclaimed machine software with a complete overhaul to the graphic user interface and many new and exciting features. In this tutorial, we'll be covering all the basic features for the beginners and for the advanced users, we'll be covering all of the new additions and updates as well. Everything from editing your sequences to using automation, exploring the brand new mixer inside of machine and all of its capabilities, and also a look at the brand new machine studio hardware. Design with seamless integration to take advantage of all of the features of the machine software better than any of the previous hardware controllers. The new mixer section also introduces us to more capabilities of machine software, for example to do sidechain compression as well as setting up groups for send and return effect buses, much like any other DAW you're already accustomed to. We're also going to take a look at using effects inside of the new mixer, including brand new effects from native instruments, as well as using third-party effects from other manufacturers. My aim in this tutorial is to show you real-world examples with different genres of music, all the while making sure to guide you through the process of making your projects more musical without getting sidelined with the technical aspects of the software. We'll also be taking a look at new and improved features of existing functions. For example, the internal sampler, chopping up your own loops and samples, using and importing Rex files, and also using and importing sounds from MPC drum libraries. Another exciting feature of the Machine 2.0 software is the brand new Drum Synth, giving Machine for the first time its own programmable sound synth engine, capable of a wide range of drum sounds covering everything from acoustic to electronic music. We also have new integration with the existing Native Instruments family of VST and effects, and we're going to show you how you can use those inside of the new Machine 2.0 software with a new level of flexibility and application. We're also going to cover using machine inside of your favorite DAW, so that means that Logic Pro X users and users of Ableton Live will not be left out when trying to integrate machine into their workflow. We'll also take a look at newer DAW systems like PreSonus Studio One and machine's integration into that environment, as well as using machine inside of heavyweight DAWs such as Steinberg's Cubase and Avid's Pro Tools 10. All aspects of the software will be covered from editing and arranging to importing and exporting files to final mix down and also using the extensive new hardware features of the machine studio controller. So once again, my name is Jeremy Harding and I hope to see you in my brand new tutorial, Machine 2.0 Explained.